Greetings YouTube, Fuzzfinger here and welcome back to our Kingdom Hearts playthrough. In today's episode we're going to be covering some optional content including an arena run at the Olympic Coliseum so please do stick around and join me and we'll make our way through today's episode. If you do enjoy what you watch don't forget to hit the like button and be subscribed to the Fuzzfinger Gaming YouTube channel. Right folks, so our first destination is going to be the Colosseum. We're going to go and speak to Phil and kick off our first cup. And if we make our way all the way through it to the end, we'll actually be able to get some nice rewards. So when you make your way to the Gummy Ship uh, interface here, we can just go ahead down to the Olympic Colosseum. And with our warp drive active, we can now go ahead and select it so that we don't have to make our way through the actual mission. Yes, we now have the ability to fast travel to our destination. Of course, you don't pick up all the items and that that you would normally get on the way. But when you're going to be moving around the Kingdom Hearts world, it's obviously going to take a lot out of the time. So we're going to head into the lobby area. And perhaps unsurprisingly, before we do anything else, we are going to want to save here. And then we'll uh, go and speak to Phil. And the cup that's become available to us is the Phil Cup. So as we make our way through the game, more will become available to us. And of course this is actually optional, but uh, it is important of course in pretty much any role playing game, especially the Japanese variety, to get as much side content done as you can. And we're going to enter together, which is our only option, although later on we will have other options uh, where we can either enter alone with Sora for a different reward, or we can set time limit for a different reward. But at the moment, all we can do is enter to get together, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, and well, basically, let's get to it. So there's going to be nine battles in total. And we need to complete them all successfully in order to win the actual cup. The general rule, you can by the way just take these guys out if you want to use magic really quickly. That's the power of the key. But I'm going to try and save my MP. Until we actually do really need it. So this is going to count down. We're on number 8 at the moment. Obviously some of these enemies are a little bit higher, so you just have to jump to get the most out of killing them quickly. And just keep an eye on your character's health. If Goofy and Donald have potions, then they too will help you with the healing. On number 7 now, which we're about to undertake... We want to really take out the smaller enemies, the power wilds, before we go ahead with taking out the legs. Since we can just concentrate on those separately then. So by all means, use the target functionality that the game gives you. And don't forget to try and dodge attacks as well. And I think there's one more power wild to take care of here. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And then we can kill the actual feet. Or the hammer legs or whatever it is they're called. So obviously the battles get progressively harder as you make your way through here. As you would expect of course. Next we have the red nocturnes and the yellow operas. So just try and take as many of these folks out as you can in terms of combos. And one of my friends healed us up then so I won't have to worry about casting Cure. It goes without saying of course that your health values uh, carry on from the end of battle into the next battle. You don't get healed up or anything. So maybe when you've got one enemy left it might be worth just healing up. 
before you face the next set of creatures. Uh, again, on this, we're going to want to take out the smaller Power Wild Ads before we worry about the big fella. But try and dodge his uh, slam ability, which does send shockwaves amongst the area. And then we'll just jump over that and hit this guy from behind. We know the routine with these fellas now, don't we? They're a little bit of a nuisance. But with our extra levels, they are starting to go down a little bit quicker than they did before. Next up, we are going to leave the hands once more. Take out the smaller Heartless here. And then save those hands until later on. Oops. And take out the final blue Rhapsody fella. And just throw a cure onto Sora here. And onto Goofy as well. And then we can take out the arms. Okay, next up we've got two of those large bodied enemies and green, so six green requiems. So things are going to be getting a little bit more challenging here. But fortunately, because of our extra strength and whatnot from leveling up recently, it doesn't take a lot of hits to kill all these things. We just have to deal with the sheer numbers of them. Okay, looks like the green ones are down. So we'll just dodge the attacks. As we take out the big fellas, finally. There goes one. Again, might want to heal up, heal up just before we kill the last enemy. So as to go into the next fight. With a little bit more health. There we go. And look at that Donald levels up. How helpful. Right, next up we have another gauntlet and a hammer legs, along with some power wilds. So we'll take care once again of the power wilds. So that they're no longer in our way. Try and dodge as many attacks as possible, which can be a bit of a tricky thing to do with so much happening at once. I think we actually killed one of the hands then, interestingly enough. They do like to dodge these monkey heartless, don't they? Which we did discover in the deep jungle. Just move out of the way so we can heal up again. There we go, just two more to go. And we're sorted. So next up we've got one more battle. Again with a slightly larger add, an armoured torso. And then a bunch of smaller adds as well. So no surprise on the strategies I'm going to be using here. First of all we're going to try and dodge some of this magic that's been thrown our way. Since obviously this is a bit of a slog. And we do just need to heal up here. And perhaps a nice heal onto Donald as well. And we just very carefully start taking these uh, ads out. This is the last fight now, so don't be afraid to just go all out. And it looks like the ads are taken care of. So just give everything you've got on the final one there. And we're through. That was fun. We're the champs! 
Indeed we are, and we get a, an achievement as well for making our way through the first optional arena run there. And we also learn the gravity spell. There we go, look. Gravity. And gravity is actually a useful spell. Even on those monsters we were just fighting if we go on to the next uh, section of Phil's Cup. Because it just does, you know, damage based on monsters' health. But if we talk to Phil here, we can choose the Phil Cup, and this time we can do it just with Sora. But before we even attempt that, we're going to save up, of course. Anyway, let's see how we get on here. Honestly, I've no idea how Sora's going to do by himself. But we'll get a different reward if we complete this version of the Cup. It's going to have exactly the same enemies, and in, in exactly the same order but obviously we don't have our friends backing us up so try and dodge as many attacks as possible so that you can use your items I haven't even uh, looked at my items in all honesty so we still only got what we've got left from before which is two potions and a high potion which means we are going to have to try and conserve our MP as much as possible. And just take large swathes of enemies out with our swinging weapon. Just dodge some of this stuff here. But the good thing about these cups is that you can repeat them. And they do give nice experience as well as you can see. That's the power of the keyblade. Come on. So just try and stay away from the big feet while we take care of the monkey heartless here, the power wilds. Since obviously they'll be attacking you still even while you are taking out the little guys. And health is a resource that you do need to uh, pay close attention to. And then the final one here. They certainly seem to have more health when you don't have your friends around, don't they? So we're going to have a lot of fire spells incoming here. Before I heal up, I am going to try and make the most of it. How many have we got left? Not a lot. One left, so we'll dodge the next spell here. And then cast a cure on Sora. This one shouldn't be too bad. As long as these heartless don't take too much out of us before we manage to get to the big fella and just try and be aware of when he's casting his body slam so that you can jump over the shockwave there it is, missed it I think jump jump again Oh no, he was slamming down, so we should be able to catch him from behind here for a few hits in. Try and bring him out into the open, because we're not going to be able to get behind him while he's by the arena edge. And again, just bring him back out. 
Oh, wow, he's fast. There we go. Can we get a cure off in time? Yeah. Right, we are getting there. We are getting there. Try and get rid of the magic ones first because obviously their blizzard spells are a bit of a nuisance. Do a lot of damage if they hit you. Dodge that. Or try to. I'm not going to heal yet, even if you have to risk dying here. And let's try and take care of this last one. There we go, let's just throw a potion onto Sora here. Did that potion get wasted or did it actually get used? Can't quite tell. Uh, no. It didn't get wasted, but it didn't get used. That's all the green he's taken care of. We might have to uh, throw th try not to waste our MP. But gravity, if you can get it off anyway, is a great spell to use on these guys. But we do need to save our MP now, so I'm not going to cast it again. Jump. When they do that charge attack, it's really annoying. Because you have to be so fast to dodge it. See, even when you're spamming your dodge attack all over the place, it can be hard to... Miss. But fortunately it doesn't do a massive amount of damage. Trying to get behind this guy is a bit of a nuisance. Let's just cast a cure spell here. So we don't actually die. Can we take him out now? Yes, there we go. That's the power of the keyblade. Okay, so we've got two more to get through here. Move away from the uh, main enemy while we take out the power wilds. A little bit low on health, but I do need to try and save some stuff if I can. I'm not going to be able to. I do need to heal up here. We've got enough for a cure. Yes, that's helpful. Let's move away from there. Take care of the fella that's annoying us a little bit. Oh no! We were so close! Well, we do get to keep our experience. Maybe we'll come back here a little bit later. I reckon I could do that if I tried again, but my thumb's aching. A bit too much to do it right at this time. But at least you get the idea of how this works. If we did complete that now, and I reckon I could, but I'm not going to bother at this time, then you'll unlock the uh, final version of this cup where you set the time with a set time limit. And if you win this one that I've just failed, you get the combo plus. And if you win the final attempt at Phil's Cup with the time limit, you get the tech boost ability. So anyway, folks, that's it for the Olympus Coliseum. Let's see what we've got next. Right, so we can actually go and do another annoying mini game now. <laughs> and to get there, we're going to be heading over to the deep jungle. Once again, it's going to use warp drive here. 
You can use Warp Drive, obviously once the features become available, to access any area you've previously gone to uh, through normal means. And we're going to disembark at the tunnel area in order to access this mini game. And straight away we get a bit of instruction on what it is we need to do for this one. Jump into the tree hollow to slide down the slider. We've already had a go at this as part of the story, but it wasn't, uh, you know, well, there wasn't anything we could really do apart from uh, test it out a little bit. But now we can actually go ahead and try and win some rewards, but this one is frustrating, so I'm not going to promise I'm going to do it all correctly, but we'll see. And we're just going to jump down into the tree. And we're going to be sliding along and collecting fruit. And if we get them all, then we're going to access the next stage. That's basically how this works. So we're going to head over to the left first of all. Did I even get them then? I can't see what I got because of my blooming record symbol. Oh, I got three out of ten. No, that's right. That's what we wanted. So the first three are on the left there. And the next three are just here on the right, so stay to the right. And as long as you do that, you'll get those next three, which means we'll have six out of ten now. And then the next three are right down the centre, which is the hardest. You have to try and line that up a little bit more accurately. But that gives us the ninth then. Uh, so just check in where I need to be now for the next one. We're going to jump over that. Oh, I was going to swing to smash that. But here's the 10th fruit here. Jump over there, and there it is. And we get an elixir. And now the second stage starts automatically. You have to replay from the beginning, by the way, if you fail. So just bear that in mind. Oh, okay. We've got to fight some Heartless. Interesting. One thing I did mess up on is that at the very end, after collecting all 10 fruit, we should have stayed to the left. That would have taken us to the next stage. Because I stayed in the middle, we ended up uh, missing that. Right, this time I've headed over to the left. So we'll be able to make our way into the cave. And we're going to stay into the middle first of all. At least once the actual... There we go. Since the first six fruit, I believe, are going to be found in the middle. And it's nice that Tarzan wants to come along for the ride. But he kind of gets in the way a little bit, in all honesty. So just try and uh, watch out for him. Right, the next three are also in the middle, but a little bit more awkward. So just dodge the stuff if you can. You can break stuff with your sword as well. Or your keyblade rather. One, two, three. There we go. Tarzan will also help you with that, which I guess is nice of him. Uh, we need to go to the right here to grab the last one. And that gives us the AP up. Which I guess is a, a nice reward for our efforts. And then we're going to head over to the left here. Once the path splits, that'll take us to the third stage. Got 20 out of 20. So as you can see, they do carry over. Hmm. I thought we managed to get through the split there. So as you can see, every time you mess up, you're going to have to start from the beginning. Bit annoying, but there you go. Well, I definitely got the left path then, so hopefully we'll be moving nicely on to stage three now. Looks like we are. So I should mention there's five stages in all. We can see the first three dead centre there. Make sure you're hugging the left. 
in order to grab the next three, I just want to make sure that I don't miss uh, the next. Okay, we just need to go back to the centre. That'll grab us the final three. And then again, keep centre. And you get a useful, though not at the moment, dark matter for your reward. And then stay right here, and when the stage splits. Ah! Oh, right. Okay, we have to actually uh, come back again because it was blocked off. So we need to stay right in order to reach stage four. Right, yo. So now we're going to stay to the right. We can see that the way is cleared. So it is normal that we can't do it all in one go. And now this is where it gets a bit tricky because you get thrown all over the place. But we'll just make our way to the next area first. And now we need to stay dead centre. And again, Tarzan likes to get in the way a little bit. One, two. Ignore the branch. There's one behind it, but the branch doesn't uh, stop you on that, so don't worry about it. So we've got four here. By the way, we have to get all of the ones on the previous stage when we're going for the later rewards. So don't just think you can try and skimp out on them, uh, because you can't. Now stay to the right and you'll get two more fruit. And then back over. And then we've got all 40. We can't obviously go that way. To the left. So we're going to end here. Oh, at least I thought we was. Okay, there's the end. And now we can make our way back for the final stage. By the way, the quickest way to get back is just to reach a save point, then return to the gummy ship and head back uh, to the same area, to the tunnels. Okay, so I've made it to the final stage now. Just head left after stage four. Uh, by the way, I feel a bit silly. You can actually just go to the pause menu and select restart. Once you've got your rewards, you haven't got to make your way back to a save point. But there we have it. At least you know from my mistake, you can learn. Now, this one can be a bit awkward. All the fruits are basically dead centre, but it's fast, as you can see. So we missed one, we missed the last one. We have to try that again. Ugh! At least we can go to restart. And just fall down the trunk here. Right, let's try that stage five again. It's really awkward that they put this, obviously, at the end, which you would expect. But it's so easy to miss just one of these. Like I just did. Oh, can you believe it? I missed two that time. Right, let's try again. Here we go for attempt number three. Just about to reach the final stage here. I'd love to know who invents these mini games. Really cruel of them, isn't it? Try and stay dead centre here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, here we go for attempt four. I say attempt four. That doesn't include the times I've failed on the other stages, to be honest with you. I'm not getting frustrated, not at all. No, not at all. I'm not getting frustrated. Oh, 49. We failed again. Lovely. Here we go. Stage five. Attempt five. We're not going to do it, are we? We're not going to do it on this attempt. I just know it. No, we are. 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 Yes! Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Am I dreaming? Please don't tell me I'm dreaming. Square Enix, you suck. Oh, we did it. I'm so happy we've done it. What do you do? Do we get the power up for the final... Uh, stage there, so long as we've got all the fruit, of course. So you need 50 fruit in total. And you get all the rewards then. But that mini game is done. We actually do not have to be chasing fruit anymore. But there is one more mini game we need to do here in the deep jungle. Although I am going to be taking a break, I think. I'll just check there's no white mushrooms around in the camp area before I do. 
There isn't. I just need to kill these. I don't know why. I've got to vent out my frustration from that last mini game on somebody. Oh, yeah. Give me lots of nice stuff. There we go. I'm feeling happier now. Alright, folks. I'm going to finish there for today. So, thanks for joining me. And I hope you have a bit more success than I did at, at getting some of these optional side quest uh, content completed. But at least we did the whatever that surfboarding down a tree thing mini game is. But I do need to go back at some point to the Coliseum and finish off Phil's Cup. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode, folks. If you have, if you've appreciated my tenacity in getting things done, then please do hit that like button and come back soon for more Kingdom Hearts. Until then, guys, take care. Bye for now.